Hey guys, Fubbleek here today and welcome back to City Skylines. Uh, so last episode, uh, uh, what did I do? I did, uh, oh, we built a new town, that's right. <laughs> here it is. Um, it's, no one's building here. I think, uh, let's have a look, is there a particular reason for it? Is it just in the middle of nowhere? Um, it's not, I mean, it's not a bad place. There's people building here, but the houses, I guess, are they? Yeah, no one wants to build here though. I actually kind of, I don't know if I want it to be an ore industry anymore. Because, do it, you know what, whatever, it's fine. It can be. But they just, I, I think, I, no, you know what, I don't know what the reason is. They, they've got the stuff they need here. Um, maybe if I give them a parking lot, <laughs> they'll be happy. I want a track and field place here. I don't know, they, 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 we have industrial demand, we have commercial demand, but no one really wants to build there. I mean, look, they'll build there eventually if they want to. Train line's running okay, it's good. Uh, I want to uh, go away from that for a little bit. Down here's okay. I think, actually, so I've got the comments from uh, a couple episodes ago. Uh, the one where we, uh, we where we built the new ferry line. I don't have the ones from last episode. I think there was something about... Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, uh. There was actually, well, there's a few comments that I wanted to talk about, actually, as well. There was ones uh, that they're saying, don't forget the prefer ferries um, policy. We actually have that, and some people did point it out, but we actually have that as a citywide policy anyway. So the entire city prefers using ferries if they're available. So people will use those. Uh, then there's someone else said, and I've seen this mentioned a couple of times, saying get the realistic population mod, because it seems like our population should be higher than 115,000. And as someone else did point out in the reply to that, if we got it now, this whole city would probably just break, because we didn't design the city to have a higher population, and it probably would not work very well. So I don't want to risk destroying the whole city. Uh, maybe next series we could do something like that and try out some different things here in there. Ah, do you have to use the same building next to each other like that? It's disgusting. Oh, and a few other people. I think I, um, uh, I used the bus lane road, right, some here. And I think a few people said I changed the speed limit on the, the bike lane road, which I did, but I thought I also changed it on that one. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sometimes I know more than the viewers. Uh, yeah, no, I changed, at the same time as we did the bike lane road, I also changed the bus lane road to be like a main road, or like one with a Oh, good lord, there's a lot of people waiting there for that train. Oh wow, these trains are full. Hmm. Wait, what line is this? This is just, this, I mean, these trains probably should have a higher capacity, to be honest. Like, we raised the capacity on all the other trains to like 800. I feel like they should probably have a higher capacity too, right? Because we've got like the, yeah, 880 on a regular train. Well, not that one. I don't think we ever really used that train. But the uh, Santa Fe one. Oh, no, they're only 310. No, we didn't change them. It was just a pa the D. Okay, never mind. No, you know what? Never mind. Uh, maybe we just need more uh, uh, trains on the line. We only have four. Let's add two more. No, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe more than that. We've got 500 people waiting there. Let's double the capacity to eight trains. Yeah, this this line has kind of snuck up on me as being busy. It never used to be this busy. I almost feel like I don't really want the train to stop here. I mean, how many people actually get off here? I think like it just looks weird with the line doing that. I think maybe if we just had to go like this, probably better. And then just have another public transit link over there. I kind of want to change that. I think it's going to be better. It's annoying me. It probably should have annoyed me from the day that I built it, but it didn't. Uh, I actually want to get rid of those. So what I'm going to do, get rid of these, like that, and then we'll build in this new track, which will go from here, and essentially just do this. I mean, hang on, let's go, basically remove that curve. Okay, this can, and <clears throat> excuse me, jeez, I don't know what's going on with my voice right now. This can move straight up to about, let's go straight slope to, okay, hang on, stick it on the ground first. Straight slope to here, because I think that should be pretty level. Good. And this one's going to come straight along. Maybe you're about here. Straight slope. And then we'll join these two with a curve. That'll be beautiful. And then it also does kind of leave us open. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, whoa. Okay, that's way, <laughs> that's way higher up there than I thought it was. I guess, wait, is this, this is sloping up. So really what we should do instead is have at least that stay level or slope down. Okay, so let's, see, let's let's redo this. This is not this is not acceptable by any stretch of the imagination. So let's adjust it. Uh, okay, instead of it doing that, instead of it being completely terrible, let's go here. We'll go to the other side of this little mound that we have. 
Maybe to about this point, where it's at the lowest. Yeah, okay. Then, we come to about here maybe. Does that change elevation too much? No, that's all right. That looks pretty good. So it sort of comes up a little bit there, then goes straight along. Then this, okay, this corner should be a lot better than that <laughs> than the previous one that we just had. So from here to here. It's a lot lower. Now this one really goes through the ground. Okay, that's alright. What we'll do, we'll just like smooth this out a little bit. Keep most of the landscape in though. But uh, just do like a little, yeah, there you go. Just a little bit around it, just so it's not so sharp, but it's clearly been built that way. Alright, this rail, I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't want this there anymore. I think it, it just, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know what? I don't even know if it made sense at the time when we originally built it. But it doesn't make sense now. I want to get rid of it. Because it's just not that much going on there. It's not that big. It just seems really unnecessary. All right, so now this should hopefully, yeah, so that should just reconnect. So I'll go there instead. So we skip out that stuff entirely. Then we have well, we have this bus here, which I guess if we're smart about it, maybe we can continue it on round to this way as well. So it'll stop there, and then it'll come back this way. Okay. Yeah, all right, so we'll just extend the bus line a little bit. So now it sort of goes from the ferry to the cherry to the wood heights to the crescent. Uh, now, actually, Victoria District, there was somewhere... Oh, was it this? Uh, someone was saying, the British of Victoria District is so wonky. Well, I mean, yeah, I put, a, I put a curve in it on purpose. But I guess the height maybe you mean? I mean, that's fine. I'm okay with it. It's just because we have to come across this way. And then we'll sort of... Because it uh, cause it's quite steep coming down. That's why we sort of curved it around. Oh, yeah, that's right. we got to fix that. <laughs> I forgot about that one, too. Uh, let's uh, see if we can... No, let's not use move it. Let's um, try something else with this. Maybe we go the other way. Just um, clear this out a little bit. Yeah, I forgot about that one. We, gotta, we, we definitely have to fix that. So we come in here, then maybe what we do, instead of just trying to... Like, I mean, we don't need to do a smooth curve around that. We just come this way. Okay. Just do that instead. And then this can connect somewhere, maybe... No, really? Oh, no. Okay. That'll do. Uh, Alright, then... Can I just, like... Let me remove both stops, and then it'll stop there, and then it'll stop here. There you go. Alright, so now, hopefully, we don't get that really bad uh, bump on the, on the on the water there. And then these ones are running down here. We've got a lot of ferries, which is good. This one... I mean, look, you're gonna... You wanna have some powerful engines on that ferry to get away from this water. Uh, this one definitely needs to be a lot lower, too. Because that is just so high up. Like, that needs to be... Oh. That needs to be... Pretty much... Down there. Like so. Has messed up these little locations a little bit. I'll be honest, but... Maybe we can, uh... Fix those. We're doing that, too. It's annoying that they, uh... Okay, okay, that's a terrible. Ah, oh, destroyed the road. <laughs> okay, can I, uh... Just level... Okay, that's way too big. Make it this, make it smaller. There you go. Just level the land down a little bit, even though it's still up, I guess. I don't know. Let me go there. Alright. Well, let's see if something else builds there. Something hopefully a little bit better. Right, so that is there now. Hopefully the, the water keeps flowing. Uh, and some people want me to do... A canal that somehow bypasses the waterfall. I heard that was a suggestion. I don't even know where we do that. Uh, it would have to be a very gradually, very slowly sloping down canal. And this is a very steep area with a quite obvious cliff. So it would either have to go... Well, here and somehow down all the way over there or around the... Like, there's no easy way to do this. And like, the, the only other way we could do it is by literally smoothing out this whole slope. But I don't want to do that. I like the waterfall. So I don't know. That's fine. I don't know. I, I don't know. We won't do that. I think it's fine as it is. Right, so uh, that's that kind of stuff that I wanted to look at. I don't think those are getting bumped around there now. Oh yeah, we never really did a proper interchange here, did we? That's what I wanted to do. Uh, it is working. I mean, really, we probably want a, something more around here. Or if we bring the... So we got the highway here. There's so many bloody interchanges here. That's ridiculous. It, it is pretty silly how many there are. Um... We probably want an entrance though as well, because well, I also don't really want the trucks having to drive through Cherry just to get over to the industrial area. I guess we could have it sort of come here and then have a road here instead. Um, then what we could also do, we should probably have, well let's go here. 
Um, okay, hold up. I want to go... What am I trying to do? So I want to have an entrance. Like that, and then an exit. Or we just have... Well, actually, if we're going to have a road here, let's... Let's say we're going to have a road here, because I, I think I'm going to. So we're going to have a road... Okay, what is going on? Why is it trying to... Don't do that. Stupid bending. I don't know why I like to do that with these roads. Alright, that's going to go there. This is going to come to this road, then. It's going to come off here. Like, okay, don't be raised up 10 meters either, please. I'm going to put this here. That's one piece. Beautiful. Okay, so it's a nice, a smooth exit, which I'll actually raise up a little bit. And then we're going to have an entrance that goes here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't need to be too too crazy. Just like a little curve like that, and then bring that up a little higher. So it's, I mean, we probably need to level this area off a little bit. So then we'll have an entrance and an exit right here. Like, I don't think that this needs to be super high capacity. Like, we don't need to do... Like, I, I want to avoid doing something like that. We don't, need an, <laughs> we don't need an interchange quite like that. So I think it'll be okay. So this is going to come to here. Well, no, not quite. Uh, it's going to come up. So these two exit like this. And then maybe just smooth that out. There you go. And then this can be a two-way road. From here to there. And then we just join those two up to this guy. Kind of the idea. I think. Move this in a little bit more. And then those should hopefully just join up to this quite neatly. I'm, well, I'm hoping. Uh, with some adjustments. Okay, I can't... Why is my camera doing that? These roads are completely, like, torn. Visually. Is this two separate... You know, there's like three sections of road here. It, look, it gets a little messy. So that's going to go here. Uh, I think we're going to need to raise this... You know what? Let me do this. I'm going to need to raise that up a little bit, I think, too. Go there to there. Alright, so that's hopefully one... Yeah, that's one now. Okay, good. Uh... Hang on, this needs to be like, needs to be like that. This can probably just come out a little bit more so it's not directly running into it. There you go. Beautiful. Could even try and get a little bit more of a free flowing connection where it looks like maybe it's supposed to be like that. So to get like that a little bit. So it's to be more like there. That can go like here. And just, just adjusting the, there you go, it's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'd much rather have it not do that. Uh, it just makes more sense if it's just a straight line, but I don't think I can really fit that in. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, you know what? No, I think it can go there. You know what? Hang on. Get rid of those. Let's do it this way. Let's build it backwards, because then we just go all the way to here. Flip it. And then we just adjust it a little bit on this end. I think we might be okay. Uh, it's a really small piece there, which is not helping us out. This is annoying. It's like so close to being how I want it to be, but it's just like this is supposed to be like a really easy, little easy little build, just to quickly get a connection in. Nothing complicated. And here we are, five minutes later, <laughs> stuck at this stupid thing. Uh, let's raise that up. Let's raise, no, just that bit should be fine. That up. And then actually maybe a little bit of this too. These don't join properly. No, those don't join properly. Uh, oh, there you go. So hang on, when this joins properly, then that. Oh my God. Can this just, like, work? <laughs> okay. Let's leave it. Right, so entrance, exit. Beautiful. So that goes like that, and then we need to do it. We definitely need an entrance on this side somewhere too, which really just needs to come off this way, like that. So can I just turn this bit into an entrance? Like this. I know it's one way at the moment, don't worry. Like that. Good. And then we just turn this into a two-way. Beautiful. Uh, this side was easier. 
so obviously these guys are not going to be too happy about all the traffic there. But anyway, that allows us to get uh, exit, entrance, exit, entrance to this whole area both ways. So we don't have to come through this way or go across that bridge. Uh, and then hopefully we go... Oh, damn it. Oh, panicky. Then hopefully they'll come this way as well. And I'll bypass the town. Uh, and then this... I guess this will just connect, honestly, just straight up to this road. It's probably the best way to do it. Can, I want to go under that. There you go. Like that. And then, you know what? I'll change this section of road to this guy. Yeah. Like that. No? Yeah, like that. Alright, and then I think I had that speed limit change on it too. So it was, a, oh, it was 60 at this point. Which is fine. Okay, so 60... Yeah, those are all 60, because I mean, that shouldn't be 100 going into town. All right, so then that provides a highway connection here. It uh, doesn't mean that I still have to go around to the other side there. I mean, this, this area will probably be quite busy, but I, we're not going to be building it up too much more than that, I don't think, in this area. Uh, I mean, having said that, who knows, we might do. How's this train line going, by the way? This should be... Have, oh. Is this train too long for the platform, so it like, blocks cars as it stops in there? Or is it just sitting there for a while? So that station's really busy. Thing, I don't know if these trains are spaced out particularly well. So this, uh, that, that section has a lot of people waiting at it. This section has a lot of people waiting at it. Yeah. So it's, it's a busy, busy line. And I think uh, the ferries are doing pretty well too, actually. Maybe the other direction. Oh no. Well, I wish they didn't just crash into each other like that. It'd be nicer, but can't have it all. So this train has 71 people on it. These trains are way too... Cool. Wait, what? What is even happening here? Why has that train stopped? What? Why did that train just stop? What? Hold up. That's not good. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, does that happen anywhere else? I should probably check that. I don't know how or when that happened, but it did. Well, these ones are obviously fine because they're turnaround point. All right. Anyway. Um, okay. So we got a more industrial. We need more industrial and commercial, which is annoying because I don't really want to build anymore. So many trees up there. Uh, how did this place go? Did it ever build? They still have not built here. What have I done? Have I done something that's causing it not to build? Like, is that... Is it just because there's nothing in the air? I mean, they have all the services. Uh, yeah, well, it's auto seven. That's why it's being weird. Yeah, they have all the services out here. They just don't want to build there. It's really interesting. What if I do actually put, like... Let's say I put in... Uh, not a parking lot. What, where's like the basketball court in that? Let me do that. There you go. What if I just do this in the middle? And I'm like, hey, let's build here now. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy the basketball. Oh, pfft. Okay, it actually did. <laughs> uh, but they have all the other services there. I don't know. They wanted a basketball court. Okay. Idiots. Right, that's, yeah, that should all join up. Okay, so that should do some uh, industrial demand and make this town a little bit more useful. Uh, cool. Then I want to do... Uh, people did want to see like a big quarry. That was a, that was a good suggestion actually. So this area is obviously pretty good. Don't want to do more of that. Um, a little bit more residential demand now. I think, can we build out this area a little bit? What's going on here? Are these trains stuck or are they just, no, they're just waiting. They're not stuck. Good. Making sure. 27%, 67%. I think those are working pretty well. Let's get some commercial around this area. Because I mean, I feel like around the train station here probably should just be commercial anyway. We got a commercial like this, and maybe across the road. Maybe there's some offices through here. Hopefully they don't build too big. Um, but we'll see. That's a good good place for some stuff in here too. So we got a little bit of demand for industrial and commercial, so that should hopefully fulfill it. Having said that, they don't appear to be doing anything, so maybe not. Oh, there's an office put in there. No, no commercial being built though. Uh, let's get out some... Now, do I want that train line going anywhere else? Because it comes to here. Does it need to go anywhere else? Maybe not. Let's connect uh, a road through here. But a little bit. We'll turn a little bit. Like this. Straight up. And then I can come straight along. I mean, really. Maybe not. Really, I feel like it almost should be like this. Uh, not minus two. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Am I mm, okay, can't go there. Uh, yeah, then there's just sort of one flowing road, which is quite nice. God, I hate all those identical houses along that bit. 
I hate when it does that. <laughs> it looks so bad. Uh, right, around the other side of the train line, I'm going to leave a bit of space here. Maybe quite a lot. Because if we can get this... Like this. What I want to do is maybe, can we get in some of the larger places? Because, give me a swimming pool out here. So I'd like to put it back a little bit. Maybe we can get the smaller roads. Uh, let's go here. Some road guides here, maybe. I reckon that's the right spot. So I'd like to do like some park stuff through here because I, I feel like, well, no one's going to want to live here. I don't think, oh, that's too close, damn it. <laughs> I feel like no one's going to want to live here. I don't really want to just litter it with commercial or industrial. Like, I don't really want any industrial here. I want this to be, this should be like a residential area. We just have a cargo station in the middle to sort of help deliver goods to the area at least. That's kind of the idea of it anyway. I think I can get that in there. Beautiful. Uh, now, like a baseball field or something is what I wanted to get out here too, because those are pretty big, typically. Yeah, there you go. Uh, can we... No, I was saying, can we level this area a little bit, maybe? Well, we can probably... This might look better if this one's brought down. This can probably come down a little bit. Oh, hello. Can come down a little bit too. There you go. I'm going to bring this road down. This area is just pretty hilly, because we're, I mean, we're all right next to the mountain, so... I'm not surprised. I mean, if we just bring... This whole road down. It's probably going to help us out too with a lot of it. Like that. And all of this. Down you go. Okay. Then. Now let's level. I mean, look. Sometimes it makes sense to level beforehand. Sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't because I don't really think about it. Uh, so let's level. <laughs> yeah, it's, probably should fix that <laughs> uneven track on the way in there. I mean, it doesn't hurt anyone. Hopefully. Okay, so all of this should be somewhat more level now. So if we can bring this up, match the land height probably be better. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, it already looks better. Cool. And then we'll we'll smooth it all out as we go. Right. So I think we can get in some stuff. Probably just at the back here too. Okay, road guys go away. Snapping off. Anarchy on. Here and then maybe. Okay, snapping back on. <laughs> Look at that, you can get almost like a perfect trace of zoning for the, the track there. That was like, that was good. Can I actually get that to like loop back on itself? Because that'd be good. And then if I turn this little bit to one way, that'd be really good. Is that tree, if we just move this a little bit around the tree, that'd be perfect. I think it's around the tree. Yeah, the tree's like in the pavement. That one is also kind of in the pavement, so we just adjust it a little bit. Like in the sidewalk, anyway. It totally can fit through there. Yeah, it's alright. I be I'd believe it. I'd believe it! Uh, so let's get out the one way. Not with parking, though. There you go. Beautiful. It's a little roundabout bit at the end. And then hopefully we can get some more stuff in here. So we can get like a tennis court maybe. Oh, these can definitely fit up there. What else can we get in here? Basketball courts? Maybe a couple here. Is that two? No, that's alright. Just don't... Hopefully, I mean, imagine there's a fence there. I mean, we can put in a fence ourselves, but we'll, we'll imagine for now. Uh, then I also want to get... So we can get those little tennis courts in. What else? What about this? No. What about that? No, that's like an industrial thing. Uh... Dog park? You know, dog park in probably. Can any of these things fit in there? It's a very small space. We've only got three tiles there. We just do trees. It doesn't have to have something in it. Uh, I will level some more land on the other side here though, because I feel like that should probably be some, some stuff there too. All right, so I think down over here, we get out the. I mean, we could even fit in. Japanese garden probably. That can actually fit right there. Next to the track. That's cool. Alright, let's do that. It's, look, it's a nice park space. It's really, really good. And then we'll do tennis courts. That's not a tennis court. Uh, tennis courts are somewhere. Sesame Street. Where are they? Oh, they're there. I'm scroll far enough. Um, a couple. Just around like that. Sort of that little area there. And then I think just getting some more trees through the area too would look really good. So this pathway is going to come through here. Pathway. Pff, uh, piping. That area. Should obviously connect up that road as well somewhere. 
uh, which is going to be the normal row. It's going to be this one. There you go. Go up to... Mm, yeah, you can go up to there, whatever. To there, and we'll have one come through here as well somewhere. All right, so it's sort of like a little park entertainment area. It's kind of nice, kind of different, kind of unusual. A lot of trains coming to this area too, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure yet, but it's one of them. Uh, then we're going to get out a bunch of trees because I feel like shrouding this place in trees is going to be great. Almost shrouding this tree. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Is the tree really there? You don't know until you look. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, i get a bunch of these around. Basically all through this area. <laughs> Trying to like really shrouding of this, uh, yeah, all of this area behind the commercial as well. I think I want to, like, I mean, really you shouldn't, I think as a pedestrian in the area, you shouldn't be able to see the, uh, the train interchange thing behind. So I want to, Really just get a bunch of trees in here. There's a lot of them. At least around the park. And then through the... Oh, look how many people are going here. We probably should, if we can paint a little bit of concrete there, it probably look a bit better too, actually. Uh, should this bit be a park? This bit could be a park. Sure. Maybe get some of those park people generators too. Purple park people leaders. Those. There you go. Lots of trees. Lovely. A lot of people walking around here now, actually, too, which is cool. <laughs> Unintended, but good. Now, can we do... God, that's a lot of trees. I don't know how many it just placed. It's like... Because it goes... I like it. There you go. It's around that. So it's like sort of the edge of the park, at least. That's good. And then maybe we do the same on this side a little bit. There you go. It's sort of really not there anymore. Beautiful. Oh, actually, you know what? That we got that sort of. That's so many trees. We also got that little park there. If we can, we can continue that on. Hang on. If we go here, it was around that. Hang on. Then we could have like a little pathway that sort of comes through, maybe from that. Is there a pathway uh, on the workshop that is like half width, so it's like a little thinner? That'd be so good. I don't know that they can walk through here, but what I'll do is I'll just add a pathway in so that they can. That's my theory. So I just walk under it. Uh, and then this can go over there. Go over here. Uh, any other path? I don't think we really need any more pathways than that. All right, so then we can go like this. Uh, get a little crossing in the middle. And we get a crossing around here too, somewhere so they can sort of walk through. If there is a pathway there, and then that should be fine. All right, wow, this place has actually come to life. <laughs> There's a lot of people heading down over here, uh, which is cool. I like it. Oh, I like it. It's really, really nice. Uh, I was going to paint that concrete a little bit. It's annoying that it cuts it in half. And it's still doing it. Maybe I won't do it. How do I make this? I don't have any, like, um... Uh, I don't have any... Ploppable, ploppable concrete or anything, no. Now, I wonder if it, is it, you're just gonna be loud there? What, what, what kind of volumes are we working with here? Yeah, it's a little loud, that train station sort of still reaches here. So why don't we do like low density commercial here? Like, just like really small shops sort of just on the other side of the park here. Along like that. And then surely the next sort of section back should be okay to start getting back into residential and all that. I think it's a, it should be a nice little area. Obviously that road is way too steep, so we'll bring that down too. There you go. Lovely. All right. Regular road here. Yeah. Now, maybe this goes straight up to here and turns a little bit here and comes across. Because then we can sort of zone on the other side here too, which is cool. This road, you can probably just go straight through to there. So if you're like sort of driving this way, you can sort of continue through. Get a little triangle space there. Uh, maybe this guy comes through. A little steep on that bit now. This comes from this way, it's a little bit better. So I think if we do that and then just maybe adjust these roads a little bit. There you go. It's probably a bit better. It's a little bit stir. I mean, it's not a bit steep, it's just it's got a weird angle to it. <laughs> She's that like, car drive up at the police car. But I think if we bring it down a bit, it'll probably help us out too. Let's do that. And also this bit. 
There you go. Now they're driving on it a little bit better. Cool. Uh, so let's get... Uh, what, what do we have here? We got... Fine apartment's okay. It's not great. Health is okay. Garbage is okay. Uh, let's get water pipes under this section because we're going to need it. And then let's get some residential, I think. I think it should be okay. We'll get some on this road here. I don't even know what district this is in, if any. It might not be in anything. Uh, I think I want to leave that maybe as grassland. Now, I don't think I want to build here in terms of residential. We can do some more commercial around this little section. So, like, a couple more places here. Maybe down this way a little bit. And then maybe from here on, it could be housing. Although it is, a, it is a pretty busy road, as you can quite plainly tell. So it might be a little loud. But you know what? That'll just have to deal with it. That's just something that you're going to live with if you buy on this road. That's up to you. You know what you're getting into. Okay. Yep. You agree? Good. Uh, so I'm going to leave that spot. So all of this through here. I mean, everyone living in this area. It's, it's Look, it's largely residential. There's still a lot of traffic running through it. They love it, though. I really don't want to zone this bit here because you need all those tiny disgusting houses again. So I'm going to zone that bit and leave it. All right, so we have almost like a kind of commercial center there. And a little bit down this way, sort of down that way. And then huge amounts of residential sprawl through the middle, which is good. Getting a little bit more free flowing as we sort of head this way because it's getting to the mountain and all that. I think this little park area worked out quite well. Cargo train works well. Uh, so if we have a look, noise. Um, is that a house? Is that a house there? No, that's a store. So that's the first house there. So it's, a, it's still a little bit noisy here. I mean, it's going to be noisy all through this area because of that road. Uh, which, I don't know. See, I would change it to another. I mean, I get, you know what? We probably don't. I was going to say, cause we, we're using this road because it has um, multiple lanes. And also, I think the speed limit on it is higher. Right? And that's what we did. Or it already was by default. Yeah, it is 50. Um, but we could change it to another road. Like... We don't need that many lanes. I don't think the traffic is really an issue. But the noise is, and I think if you use the tree line ones, it's slightly quieter. I think. Now, what does this look like? Okay. Let's just use it. Let's see. We'll change the main road from here. All through this area this way. And then what I'm going to do, maybe just to that bit, and then we can leave that one. Yeah, just, just that stretch. Let's, let's try it out. Then I'll change the speed limit on it back up to 50 because I want it to be... I want them to use this as a main road still as before. Uh, and then that's like the other main road. Alright, so it's still it's still the same speed limit. We've got one less lane, but now we've got trees. And look at it. It's like driving through the bloody forest. It's beautiful. Uh, maybe it will be a little bit quieter. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this part here. Uh, next time, I'm not really sure what we want to do. Dude, what's going on here? This cargo train's waiting to get through, is it? There's a lot of people on this line. Holy crap. What line is that? That is this... Uh, is it the purple line or the... Yeah, it is the, it's the purple line, which is... Which line is that? That's this line. Okay. We have 608 people waiting there. Now, I think the reason for that is I reckon they're all going... No, they can't all be going here. No, that's a different... Where are they going? 608 people? Where does that line go? So the line goes here, and then it goes... Here. Are they all just trying to get to this point? I don't know, but this line needs more trains, is what I can tell you. <laughs> it needs more trains. We got five, but it's not enough. Alright, I'm just going to add a few more. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Let's get up to town. It's double capacity. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day.